I say this with great pride. I've said this before. In 1968, the first time I ever got an opportunity to vote for a black man, for U.S. President, that black man is in the house tonight. And ever since 1968, I have never voted for another white man again. That's how much he revolutionized my thinking. He's in the house, and we are blessed as a people to be able to bring him here tonight during these confused times that we are living in. Let everybody stand on their feet. Let everybody put their hands together and give a greeting to our brother, Brother Dick Gregory. I'm 72 years old, and I never thought I'd see the day I'd like to be young, because I ain't never liked young folks at all. <laughs> but after I look and see what's happening in these schools today, these teachers having sex with the students, oh, if I had teachers like that. <laughs> Black folk walk around thinking y'all so hip, so slick, 
in tune to some kind of God. What God? Anytime you got to get up every morning and go to work, you don't know God. <laughs> Jesus ain't never had no job. Huh? They say he was a carpenter, but you ain't never seen him with no hammer. <laughs> you ain't never seen him fixing nobody's steps. And the people that control the world don't work. And every one of you sitting in here got more integrity and more intelligence in your baby finger than Queen Elizabeth got in the whole body. She rich and you ain't. You tuning into the wrong vibration. Huh? Black folks in America is less than 12% of America's population. And as we sit here now, 87% of everybody in America on kidney dialysis machines is black folks. So what kind of drums do you be? They don't have one kidney dialysis machine in all of Africa, not because they're too poor, they don't need them. Because you sit here, you internalize this white racist system, and you talk all that crap, and talk all that stuff, and you ain't gonna do nothing about it. Or walk around looking all evil and mad, and if that scared white folks, we'd have won a long time ago. <laughs> and then most of you, when you get around white folks, that evil look leaves. Huh? Yeah, I see y'all, I'll be with y'all when y'all get down there. Go all over the world fighting for this thug, then come home, a cop and shot your mom in the back. You want to march. And getting ready to let your children go out now. All over the world killing, and then come back and a cop beat them to death. And you don't understand how unpure and how insane that is. And when you black folks learn to stop making God a pit bull, God ain't going to take care of nobody for you. What's your name, brother? So you put $1,000 in his bank. Got that? And he go to Europe, man. He on vacation. And you go there and write out a check for $1,500. What gonna happen? Gonna bounce, right? But do they have to call him in Europe to tell him? It's already in place, right? Everything and this entire universe is already in place. Once you violate it, don't nobody in the big sky be looking at you. That's already the law. Huh? So these are games. There is no queen's heartbeat. There is no welfare mother's heartbeat. And y'all tend to forget that. Huh? You have 100,000 miles of blood vessels running to your body. Huh? And all them thugs out there that we pay homage to, they can't put 100,000 nothing in you that don't get in your way. And your blood make a complete cycle every 30 seconds, which means as you sit there now, your blood's traveling 200,000 miles a minute and Queen Elizabeth's blood traveling at the same pace. So who says she's a queen? The universal God for us made men, and men made kings, made women, and men made queens. The difference between a woman and a queen and a man and a king is the way you wrap the gift. That's all that's about. That happened after you get here. You didn't come here from the universe with some queen crap. Huh? And then make it work. I go to Target and get you a nice little outfit. Huh? And stop by Sac Fifth Avenue and have them wrap it. You don't know it came from Target. <laughs> you say, oh, he loves me. You know? <laughs> and so once they can get you to accept it, they can get you to violate yourself. The most important thing you have 
Is this right? Delicate. Hmm? Makes everything function. Hmm? Everything function. And let you stupid enough to let children and when you was young get out there and let a ball hit you in your head and call it soccer. <laughs> but if you walked out and seen your children taking that same soccer ball, hitting your Cadillac with it, you'd be outraged. What do you think the real God think of you? You can hit this that I produced, but not your car. So somewhere, they really messed up with Michael Jackson because the government, see they're so slick but they're so racist, they could have used Michael Jackson to win over the whole world. Huh? Even when he's dead, they could use it, just take his picture all over the world and say, where else other than America could a poor black boy born in utter poverty in Gary, Indiana, end up being a rich white man? <laughs> 